Hey guys, uh, it's ACL Hoggy, and uh, today I'll be doing analysis commentary of Talwan's gameplay. Uh, this gameplay is from ACL Melbourne, uh, the one that took place just earlier in the year. Um, the gameplay is actually between the team, the firm, and Dead On Site. As you can see, the game is Capture the Flag and Zealot. Unfortunately, I know it's the same uh, game type and map as the last commentary, but this one will be a little bit different as it'll be an analysis. Uh, basically, as I said in the last commentary, you just sort of want to control that top gold area, keep the enemy spawning in their base, and either run that flag bottom middle or around to the top gold area, and control that sniper and nade launcher that spawn on the main ramp and gold. So let's hop into this one and see how Talon does. Capture the flag. So at the start here, Talon does a nice job of trying to push through top gold. A little bit of a sneaky shots through there, makes uh, Eternix one shot, so that was well done. Now right here, he does a nice job of sort of just trying to get shots on top mid. He makes him back down, and his teammate is actually still alive on top goal, so he did a nice job of keeping him alive. He just didn't really pay attention too well to uh, the person over at his med pack that was actually shooting at him prior to that. Uh, but other than that, that was a pretty good start for him. So when you see Mates running the flag, you just want to look to stop the enemy from pushing in behind them. Unfortunately there, he throws a bit of a, a crazy nade and makes both of his teammates one shot, which pretty much stops this cap right here and basically allows the other team to get in and uh, cap this one. He was probably better off just um, looking over to main ramp and just stopping any players pushing over from main ramp as there was already two players of from his team over at the landing with the flag that could have easily stopped that lift on. So he just wants to try to get top gold control, but he meets mental, so he just has to put shots on and stay alive. Does a nice job of dodging that nade. I thought it actually might have hit him, but he managed to dodge it. So just trying to push top gold exactly what he should be doing. And unfortunately he gets flanked. Um, I have watched this video before, and that player actually did just lift up on him there. And he couldn't quite see him outside the corner of his screen, so that was a little bit unlucky on his part. So he does a nice job of trying to put shots on the flag carry there. Unfortunately, obviously Mental got around the corner, but you always want to look to put shots on the player that's just started running your flag. He's done a nice job of flanking around to their flag, onto their med pack. Although, I think he sort of pushed in a little bit too quickly there. Probably could have sat back on the med pack, just put shots on the players coming around that street. Because when the flag is at top gold and around that street area, if you're near at their flag and they don't know you're there, you can get an easy three or four shots, potentially five shots on the person protecting the flag carrier or the person running the flag and just easily stop that flag um, by just not by them just not knowing you're there and fl doing a nice flank. Alright, so he sees all his teammates are over on top goal, so he just wants to uh, lift up and help them out, which is exactly what he's done here. And he's tried to help his teammates on med pack, but unfortunately all his teammates get taken out and the Turnix does a nice flank, which basically nullifies any sort of push or setup that they had. So you can see there's one person on the street, there's another Turnix is also top gold, so he knows there's at least two people top gold right now. So he does a nice job of coming around back to his med pack and putting shots on the person on his landing. Um, someone looks like someone came through uh, onto the catwalk and got a nice flank, and he sort of pushed out a little bit too far. Probably could have just hit at that corner there and tries to stay alive as long as he could. So he gets an unfortunate spawn, spawning S2, and lifts up and manages to stay alive for for a while. But it was probably better off just waiting for his teammates. Uh, he did end up getting one kill. But I don't know if it will really be worth it in the end as they're three dead right now. But it looks like they managed to stop all of them from getting to the flag, although they have pulled it now. And he does a nice job of flanking around and getting through and stopping that flag. So even though he lifted up and it probably wasn't the correct decision in the first place, he did a really nice job of spawning and managing to come back around to their med pack and uh, returning, killing the flag carrier and returning the flag and starting to run the enemy flag which is exactly what he should have done. Unfortunate that someone flanked there. Something he did do there was lift with the flag. Um, you always want to throw the flag into the lift before you lift, unless you know you're 100% safe, because if you get taken out while you're lifting, um, the flag can drop down onto the blue lights or red lights, which is exactly what happened there. 
and it sort of completely stops your flag run. Once it gets down there, you're not really going to get the flag moving any further from that position. They did a nice job of grabbing the nade launcher and uh, flanking around to bottom mid. He probably would have been better off going towards their med pack. I guess it really depends uh, if you knew where the enemy team was at the time. But he still did a nice job. He got a kill on a Turnix. He lifted it up. His teammates got two kills. And he got into their flag and now he's running this one. And they should be able to cap this one as long as he doesn't fumble here. So his teammates did a really nice job of protecting him there. And he did a great job of running that flag uh, back to his base and uh, capping that one. So it's 1-1 one, one at the moment. So that was a good play there. He came back up and he got an A launcher on the flag carrier. Which pretty much stops their flag run as he pulled out his DMR and then shot the player in the head. I uh, probably could have dropped down onto his front jump there and gone under the base. Um, he had definitely had enough time and it would have forced that player to drop down and not really help out his teammates. So off respawn he did a nice job, he pushed the top mid. Uh, he's now pushing into their flag from top mid to sort of stop that flag. Unfortunately he's a little bit too late. Still does a nice job of getting one player one shot and then he takes out a Tony. So that's even better that he gets one player one shot and takes out another. So that'll mean that he's weak but he can still run this one as this Two dead right now with one still one shot under their base. Oh, I don't think it actually let him pick that one up. That was a bit weird. So there we go. He did a nice job, pushed around into their flag as they were running that one and managed to stop the flag and, or managed to almost stop the flag, sorry, and ended up running it at himself, which is, which was a really good play. So again, he did a nice job, he went to bottom mid, he lifted up that landing and uh, completely stopped that flag cap. He would have known that there was at least two over on that uh, main ramp side of the map as he would have got a call out, meaning they could easily lift up onto that flag carrier, take him out and then get easy shots on the flag, on the enemy flag. Right there, Talon probably could have done a better job of sitting on their... Uh, the enemy's landing and just stayed there and sort of just put shots and stopped them from running. Um, in the end, they still managed to cap it, but if he just sat back and put shots on the players coming towards his teammate that had the flag, then uh, they probably would have got that one in without him getting taken out or the flag carrier. So it looks like two of his teammates are dead, and he's over on this uh, gold side. He knows there's the players over near his med pack, so he does a nice job of uh, stopping them from pushing in, and then pushing in to uh, top gold. Looks like he's pushed a little bit too far forward there. He just wanted to get the quick one-shot kill on uh, the enemy that was weak, uh, but he was probably better off sitting back a bit, probably just picking up that sniper that was sitting top gold and just staying alive and waiting for his teammate, who eventually came uh, about three seconds after he died. So if he just waited a little bit longer, it probably would have been better. Did a nice job of going bottom middle, grabbing that flag after his teammate died and lifting that one up. He did lift it in his hands again, but I think that was a lot safer that time, and it was definitely um, he was definitely able to do it without losing it. The two of his teammates go down there. It was probably better off staying top mid and just trying to stay alive instead of trying to push top gold um, because it was just an easy kill for the enemy, and they'll just now have top control, top gold control with that snipe that just respawned. Again, a nice job of pushing your top goal with his teammate. Great shots by Frosty to help him out to take him, take that player out that lifted. Nice job of pushing back, taking out that player. Would have got a call out. Frosty manages to get that one all the way up to their landing, and he should be able to put this in for the win. Oh, and he gets taken out just before he puts it in. But overall, that was a good gameplay from Tarwin. He uh, got top goal control, got in behind the enemy team when they were running that flag. Uh, maybe he was a little bit too aggressive sometimes, but uh, depending on the callouts, you can be a little bit aggressive, aggressive and still die, and your team can still come out with a flag cap from it, even though you've died. Um, so overall, that was a good gameplay from Talwin. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.